All right, this is Ross, and today I have something pretty interesting for you guys. And I want to talk about goji berries and my experiences with them. And these are the two goji berry plants I have. There's one right here and this guy. They're both in five gallon containers. Pretty well, pretty nutrient soil I have them in. Uh, well watered. Both of them are first year plants. Um, both started out really small. Both started out in 4-inch containers and both really were very young plants. And today they're, they look pretty good, I have to say. They grow really quickly. Uh, that's one thing that goji berries have in common. They're very prolific. They've already bear fruit in their first year, which is kind of insane. Every node has berries on it and this one right here has like seven or something crazy uh, this guy is sweet life berry that you're looking at here I got from Stark Brothers Nursery and this guy is Crimson Star that I got from uh, I got from Indiana Berry and I first tried sweet life berry because this is the first one to bear fruit for me and it was horrible like I spit it out immediately it was probably the worst thing I've ever eaten <laughs> not what I've ex I was expecting um, not the worst thing I ever eaten but it's up there <laughs> and it was horrible and uh, it wasn't looking good for my both young goji berry plants and I was ready to give up I did some research and found out that lots of people don't like goji berries so and there's a lot of misinformation out there on goji berries and I hope that this video can actually explain some of this stuff and maybe clear things up so uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some of these sweet life berry berries they're they're red uh, they've been on here for a while uh, some of them have even dried on the tree you can see this guy right here I have experimented with drying them and overall this variety sweet life berry just tastes bad it doesn't matter what I do with it it's horrible um, I have left these on for a while I haven't touched them so maybe over time they've ripened a little bit more and maybe they're gonna taste a little better we're gonna find out this guy uh, has a few berries on it and they're like orange which is like, which really isn't the optimal ripen stage, but I tried one and they actually were good. Like, surprisingly very good. And what I've realized is that this Crimson Star plant is actually, uh, there's two different, there's probably multiple different species of goji berry, but the two most common that you'll find is this plant right here which is Lyceum babarum and then there's this plant right here sweet life berry which is Lyceum chinense and it's been said that babarum is much sweeter and better tasting than chinense so there is hope <laughs> all right so i'm gonna pick these and i'm gonna do a little taste test and we'll see what happens Okay, so I picked them. On the left here is the Babarum, and on the right is the Chinense. So, uh, Sweet Life Berry and Crimson Star. Um, funny story about the Chinense, I actually saw a bird uh, pecking at some goji berries, and they essentially just spit it out. Like, a bird was eating it, and spit it out and like I found them on the ground like just pecked at and just not wanted <laughs> so yeah uh, not looking good for them uh, I actually have some that are dry this one is a babarum that's kind of dry it's kind it was pecked at lots of juice is missing let's try it I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the sweet life berry first. 
get one that's pretty soft looks red this one's really soft this one's probably the ripest all right so I've kind of gotten used to these now but they really taste like like a spicy pepper to me like a zesty a zesty pepper um, with like juice in it with seeds and uh, it's just not good I mean if I want to grow a pepper I'll just grow a pepper why do I need these, these berries my brother I gave him one and he legitimately thought I poisoned him for a split second I was like smiling at him as he ate it because I knew how horrible they tasted and he thought I poisoned him. He actually kind of likes them now. He doesn't mind them. I think he's like just by partial to them. I think they're horrible. So let's try this the Babarum. See if they got any better since the last time I tried it. Yeah. Yeah. What does that taste like? Hmm. I don't know what the hell this tastes like. It does have like a berry taste to it. And it's much it's a little juicier than the chinense. Um, let's, let's try another one. I don't think this one's as ripe. Yeah, that one wasn't as ripe, but it's not bad. I wouldn't go out of my way to eat these things. That was the dried one. They got pecked at. And that was pretty sweet. That was actually pretty sweet. Yeah, I liked that one. Hmm. It kind of reminded me of a raisin. Yeah, it does remind me of a raisin. It's kind of like a raisin. That's not bad. They're supposed to be really healthy for you, you know. Who really knows if that's true or false with all the fads going on, but that was good. And I think uh, if you if you were to dry these and add tons of sugar, they might actually taste good. I don't know if it's really worth it though. I don't, I don't know. So I would definitely go with the Babarum. You can eat them fresh. These, you literally want to spit them out when you eat them. Let's eat another one. This one's pretty soft. Yeah. It's like a pepper. It's not even big, you know? It's just like a small pepper. It's weird. Yeah, that's the goji berries. That's a uh, barm on the left, chinance on the right. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. This is Ross.